Let's uh, discuss section B. There are three questions you need to choose to. Complete table 13 below. Hence, inductively derive the first derivative formula based on the complete table. So, by looking at the table, we have functions. Y equal to 4x. When we do dy dx, we get 4. So, the pattern is 4 remain the same. Power bring down and x with the power minus 1. So then for part B, a closed box has a side length as shown in the diagram. So we are having the box with the base length is y, width is x and the height is x. And the volume of the box is 216 cubic centimeter and the area was given. Now let's see how to determine the pattern y equal to 4x we get 4 y equal to 4x cubed we'll get 3 times 4 x 3 minus 1 which is 12x squared so we will get 4 still remain the same 3 is the power x 3 minus 1 so we can say that if you are getting uh, y equal to ax n we will get dy dx is equal to n times with the a x n minus 1. Right? So the pattern is the a remain the same. And the power we bring to the in front. So it become a n x n minus 1. Right? So this is the formula for the pattern that we observe a remain unchanged multiplied by the power n multiplied by the x with the power minus 1 so if we are going to differentiate y equal to 4x 10 it will be 4 times 10 x 10 minus 1 which is 40 x to the power of 9 this is the part a question how to derive the formula for the dy dx by observing the pattern so in short y equal to a x n dy dx should be equal to a n x n minus 1 so the conclusion is if y equal to a x power n then dy dx will be equal to a n x n minus 1 so this is the general statement that we can conclude based on the pattern that we observe for part b we are given the closed box has a side length as shown given and the question mentioned volume is 216 cubic centimeter area of the box is given by a equal to 3x squared plus 6xy and find the value of x when area is minimum when you see area is minimum meaning that you have to find the derivative for a or differentiate the a so firstly we have volume which is v equal to x squared y volume was given 216 that means y is 216 over x Square. We can express y in terms of x. This is number 1. Equation number 1. Then we substitute into equation number 2. For the area is 3. We are going to substitute number 1 into number 2. So that we get an area in terms of the x. 3x squared plus 6x. When we see y, we will substitute with 216 over x squared 216 over x squared is actually from the volume now we can express the area in terms of the x so area is 3x squared plus 1296 over x in order to differentiate We must make sure we can see the power of the x is negative 1 when we bring up. 
So now we can differentiate dA dx. So we get 2 times 3 will be 6x minus 1, 2, 9, 6x minus 1, minus 1, so it's minus 2, right? So we have to write in simplest fraction like this over x squared before we can solve because it is minimum. So the concept is dA dx must be 0. So hence, we can solve the x by letting 6x equal to 1, 2, 9, 6 over x squared and 6x cubed equal to 1, 2, 9, 6 and x cubed equal to 2, 1, 6. Hence, x is equal to 6 centimeter. So, we have got the x which is 6 centimeter. Now, we need to show that this is a minimum area when x equal to 6. So, we need to differentiate again the dy dx which is 6x minus 1, 2, 9, 6x negative 2. So, if I differentiate again, 6x becomes 6. Negative 2 is a power times with negative 1, 2, 9, 6. So, it becomes positive, right? x minus 2 minus 1, the power have to reduce by 1. So, I'm getting 6 plus is a positive now because it's a negative times with a negative. I will get positive 2, 4, 3, 2, right? Over x power 3. This is second derivative or we call as d2a dx squared. If we substitute x equal to 6 into d2a dx squared, we are getting positive value. Okay? d2a dx squared, not d2y, d2a. So you will get d2a dx squared is a positive value, which is 17 point 2, 6 is uh, greater than 0. So it shows that d2a dx square is positive. So hence, the area is minimum when the x is equal to 6. Right? So uh, the question didn't ask for the area. So we don't have to substitute the x into the area. Alright? We just show that it is minimum by doing d2a over dx square and we substitute the x equal to 6 to show it is a positive value hence the area is minimum that's all my sharing about differentiation see them bye bye and have a nice day